And it seems to be the theme of this general election for the in-person voting, those long lines. But is that happening in Kapolei? We'll check in with Manolo Morales, who joins us live from Kapolei Halle. Manolo? Yeah, thanks very much, Justin. And the answer is yes. Uh, you can probably see the people behind me here. And this line, actually, the beginning or the, the end of the line, actually, is around the end of this building here. And what it does is it goes straight around this building. It, it comes around this sort of a, a square, the, this side of the building, and then it goes into that side of the building in order for you to be able to vote. So quite a bit. And I talked to some of those voters. They said, uh, I got anywhere from just under an hour to, to finish to get through this line. I also talked to some people who said it took about an hour and a half. So uh, that's about the, the range of the wait if you do come to vote uh, in person, and of course you can do that till seven o'clock. I also asked them, well, why why did you wait till today to vote? Uh, as far as I got a few answers, and some were just uh, procrastinating. They said they they put it off and put it off until finally this is the day, so they had to do it today. And there's also some who just need to, to actually vote in person. They said they've always done it that way and they will always keep doing that way because that's a way they prefer it. So it doesn't matter if they have to wait an hour or two, they will do it in person uh, in part because they say uh, they, they trust that system better as, as opposed to mail-in. So we'll always get that. And of course, we'll see how, the, we'll keep monitoring this to see how, how this uh, slows down or if, if, if the line gets any shorter as we get closer to 7 o'clock. We will hope so, but we'll let you know as, we, as you come to us within the next hour or two. Back to you guys.